IMPs are very predictable. The kind of politics they are playing, they are playing politics which happened in 80s, 90s, back there. They, most of them are not independent and most of them can be ordered by party heads. If they are told, let's go this side, they'll move like sheep in the same direction. So most likely they are waiting for their seniors to give them directions. Maybe they will consult, consult a few. So on the other hand, if the seniors do not accept, if one party leader, maybe Raila, maybe Uhuru, is not comfortable with the law, will definitely have opposing sides and they oppose for no reason. One will be opposing and one will be supporting. On the other hand, uh, Uhuru will be comfortable with the law because it has been developed with the IBC and before he signs, he will be, before he signs, he'll go through it. So he's likely to support. For God, aspirants and other MPs and politicians, you will find them, they are likely also to oppose. I told you they play 80s politics, whereby they'll say that uh, they have that mentality of opposing in it, everything from the government uh, and they have no reason. They might be doing a good cause to oppose something, but they have, they even themselves don't know the reason of opposing it, just like Jubilee MPs who support everything that has come from State House, and if you ask them for a reason, They'll just tell you anything like it's not tangible. Yeah, if we had serious institutions in place, if central bank was effective that it can monitor everyone's uh, the movement of money, if we had a strong CID department which can investigate and track money, the movement of money and all other organs, if they were strong, it will affect. But unfortunately, Kenya we don't have strong institutions, uh, so that means it won't affect. Then, on the other hand, we have a lot of illegal money moving around. We have had scandals, we have had bribes moving here and there. We have had people avoiding banks to avoid paying taxes, so it won't be effective. Kenyans are very sharp, Kenyans are brainy, and they're very innovative, they're very innovative. So what they do, they look for other options. For example, when you talk about corruption, the money has been moving around. Someone will prefer using your money, for example, to campaign, come to you, you have ready cash, you give him money, then he can forge something like he did a work for you, then like he supplied a, that person, like he paid something to you which you supplied, so definitely other malpractices are going to come out. Unless we have strong institutions, it cannot be effective. In a country like US, the other day they ruled that you should not have a limit on how much you spend. That one will be implemented because they have institution in place. And what the judge was arguing, he said that, the judge said that uh, uh, limiting someone's, someone who's buying on how much to spend is limiting his or her freedom. In Canada, they have a cap, can't spend beyond something. So, something which needs some serious discussion, and then the law should be balanced. Like the, the, the institutions which are implementing the, that law, they should also be strengthened. So that one, we cannot have inflation, money, inflation after election, and two, we cannot have other mal malpractices.